Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Last week, I had a chance to sit down and talk dolls with the one and only legendary, amazing Mel Odom. Mel is the creator of Jean Marshall, who is a 15 and a half inch fashion doll. She was launched in 1995, and he really did revolutionize the complete fashion doll industry. If you guys have not yet caught that interview, make sure to click right up here and catch it because you will not want to miss this. And if you're thinking, oh, well, I don't really know who Jean Marshall is, I don't really pay attention to older dolls, um, remember this, everything that we love and enjoy as collectors for the most part, comes from people like him. So you guys owe it to yourselves as doll lovers, doll enthusiasts, and doll collectors to know about amazing people who have helped pave the way for all of us, okay? So after we finished our interview, Mel actually gifted me a Jean doll, to which I literally like had diarrhea and was about to pass out. But of course I was like composing myself because I was in front of the one and only Mel Odom. <laughs> Mel did mention during our interview that the Ashton Drake collection um, is a great place to start for those of us who are um, new to the jean world and looking to start collecting. I think um, Mel has come to know that I have a thing for evening gowns and ball gowns. So I think it's very sweet that he ended up giving me this doll because she comes in this really beautiful white and black frothy ball gown. This is what she looks like right when you open up the box. Oh, wow. She does have here her little story. Um, which you pull down it's a little envelope which we'll get to and then I think this here is uh, Part of her costume. It looks like a cape maybe or oh Cute it is. It's like a beautiful little cape. I see little flowers underneath here. Oh my god oh, And look at this dress. She even has uh, a beautiful little uh, Hand tag here. What's here on the side? Okay, super cute. I see perhaps a corsage um, and a bracelet, I think it is. By the way, um, this doll came out in 1998. Uh, she is part of the Ashton Drake Galleries collection that Mel first debuted Jean with, and she's meant to mimic the 1940s, uh, specifically 1948. The costume is designed by Mel's friend, Tim Kennedy, who he mentioned during our interview. I remember Mel telling me that all of these uh, dolls had stories. So, okay, the Certificate of Authenticity right here, N-A-L-E-D exclusive. What a beautiful um, Certificate of Authenticity. How official. <laughs> and then behind that, we have the little booklet, um, all in black and white here. Gorgeous photo of Jean here. There's a whole story of her arriving um, in her horse-drawn carriage. And then there's a very handsome photo of Mel. Um, and talking about his life and experience working on Jean. And then in the back here, there's a whole story of Jean. Her name was Katie Marshall. Oh my God, so cute. Her whole um, discovery story is here. Oh my gosh, I love this. Talk about like true keepsakes, you know? Okay, what is this? Um, oh my God, oh, so cute. Wow. Oh my God, you guys, it's like a little cape. <gasps> you know I'm dying to see her shoes. <laughs> okay, so inside the little bag is, oh my God, how cute. A beautiful little um, corsage. I mean, it has a closure on it. It's, wow, wow. And then what I think is a little bracelet here. Um, so cute, you guys. Looks like there is an insert here. That I'm going to pull out. Oh wow, she comes in a stand. Oh, I can see her cute little shoes. Wow, this is a lot of dress. Oh my god. Oh, look at all these layers. Yay! <laughs> a very beautiful stand, if I do say so myself. Has little rubber um, bottoms here so that it doesn't scooch around. The actual um, stand part of this is clear acrylic, very similar to what we see in um, silkstone stands, Barbie silkstone stands. And then the base is really, really simple. It just says Jean on it. And um, I love it. So simple and so chic. Y'all know how I am with my doll stands. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this ribbon, which I think is going to set her free. Woo! 
<laughs> Yay! Hi, darling. Holy cow. Oh, they were not kidding with this gown, you guys. Oh, bummer. There is a little bit of staining here on the fabric um from the velvet so i'm gonna have to try and clorox that out i mean it's to be expected it's a white gown it's like really really white like a true white um and there is a black velvet sash sitting next to it you know i think mel is trying to tell us subliminally that these dolls are not meant to be kept in their boxes and they are in fact meant to be taken out and played with um and if they don't get taken out and played with they will stain on you <laughs> Oh my gosh, her shoes are so cute. Oh my god, there's a big bow in the back. Oh, cute. This is a lot of dress. Are we seeing this? She needs a really good press. So I'm very excited to give this gown a press. I think it will just bounce to life the moment I do. You can definitely see her arriving at the opera, can't you? Like, hello, darlings, hello. Wave, wave, wave. <laughs> can we just talk about this face? That's a magical face, let me tell you. Her eyes almost look like they're glowing, right? She has beautiful, like, reddish, um, auburnish colored hair. Um, which is rooted into her head there. She does have little white pearl earrings, which are also quite lovely. And she has her signature little white metallic dot on her eyelids, which is so cute. And that of course is to give the illusion of a glossy lid. She has a beautiful red lip that is painted on so nicely. And you can see a little bit of accentuation with paint and color there to give it some dimension and some depth. Her eye makeup is very unique. There is a little bit of color drawn underneath her eyes. Gorgeous old school brows. Jean does also have beautiful eyelashes there. They are not rooted. They are glued on, little strips. The midsection of this sash is so beautiful. I love that crisscross lacing effect. Absolutely darling. Her hands are so cute. Um, she has a beautiful little red manicure on. I did put the little uh, bracelet on as well. It is wired, so it's very, very easy to put on and shape the way that you like. So I like that detail very much. There are two layers of this beautiful tool, And then underneath that, there is this really beautiful um, silk satin. And then underneath that, there is a layer of very stiff crinoline, which is going to help kind of keep this dress up and about and then underneath that you can see her uh, nude colored pantyhose and she does have beautiful black ribbon up um, sandals there high heeled sandals i feel like i'm a kid again <laughs> and it, that feels odd to say as a collector to me at least um because i'm not collecting dolls to be a kid again or try to feel a kid again but there's something so fantasy and fantastical and childlike about this whole experience that I'm having right now. And I can't fully put it into words, but to tell you that it's pretty awesome. If you have not ever had a doll this big, um, I highly recommend that you guys get one and try this because it's, it's very cool. This is very, very stiff. This is a true, true crinoline if I have seen one in a while. I mean, can you hear that? It's just like, it's stiff, like it could like cut a bitch. Get a better look at this gown. Oh, how beautiful. It's lined in this really beautiful like white muslin it almost looks like. Um, it's very soft, it's quite lovely. The craftsmanship is beautiful, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, truly, truly beautiful. Um, it really does look like everything is done by hand. The little top portion of the bodice here is beautifully done. It's aligned in the same organza that is um, lining her little cape. The bow does not come off. It is uh, sewn into place. A very simple and traditional silhouette that is uh, very reminiscent of the couturiers of the 40s. I love it so much, the voluminousness and just the, the, the ginormousness of this. <laughs> It's just, it's, it just dwarfs anything that Barbie could ever wear. I mean, this is just so magical. I, I literally feel like I could get into this and wear this. 
Um, and uh, who's to say that I won't try? <laughs> yeah, the doll is beautiful. I mean, I remember Mel telling me about the sculptor who sculpted this doll. The vinyl just feels so nice, you know? It's a, it's a very different feeling than what I'm used to feeling on my Model Muse Barbies. It just feels, um, I don't know, like more expensive. It feels more luxurious. It looks almost like porcelain, I have to say. Um, the detail on it is just gorgeous. Here's her little shoe. Oh, so cute. Beautiful little ballet styled stiletto sandal with a nice chunky heel. All the strap detail is done in silk ribbon. So that's a sweet little touch. Um, right, it's a simple silhouette but nicely executed it's very neatly done and yeah here is jean up close and personal in the buff so that you can get a better look at her really beautiful physique mel mentioned that he made the waist very small so that when fabric gathers around it um, it looks nice and even and proportioned out when she's fully dressed that is a lovely touch I, I do think that's wonderful and again he mentioned that her body was stylized and um, that definitely is the case. She has a stylized body for a doll. She's not an action figure and she's not like an anatomy form. I love that you can see um, the muscles on her back there. How beautiful, right? Her arms here are articulated so they can, they can go up and they can go down and side to side here. She does move her head from left to right up and down and then here in the back here we can see her serial number which is um, handwritten there on her lower back then very unfortunately there's some staining here on her back from the big black velvet bow and then we saw here the staining on her hands as well unfortunately i'm going to try to see if i can get this out it shouldn't be too hard because this is vinyl but let's see how it goes the pantyhose are really beautifully constructed you can see the seam lines here um, in the bum and then underneath the crotch coming down the leg here very similar to a silkstone construction although it's on a much larger scale and then down here her little feet are really sweet they are an arched foot she has a beautiful pedicure there and she does have uh, toe markings which is lovely um, and then here is her sweet little shoe how beautiful is that, right? Sweet that she's going to the ballet because it actually ties up her ankle like a ballet flat would. I was very curious to see what her beautiful little cape here looks like when it's on her. Um, and what I realized when I was looking at it closer is, you know how I thought this was blue when I first opened this up? Well, it's not actually blue. It's been stained over the 20 years that it's been sitting inside this little packet. Um, it started off being white organza and now it's like a really pretty light blue. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and put this on her to see what it looks like. What a beautiful little shape, huh? It frames her face so beautifully. I love this ruffle here. It really just adds such a nice little touch to this. I do actually enjoy the floral um, detail here on the back. 40s and 50s couture um, had a lot of floral detail in it, not just like floral design or motifs, but like actual like, silk flowers, um, which I am not complaining about because let me tell you guys, I was that little gay kid that put flowers and ribbons on everything. I remember I even tied like blue ribbons to my bunk bed for just no reason, but I just tied all four posts with blue ribbons. This is darling. I love this. I mean, you can just imagine her like running off into the distance after the opera, right? Just being like, goodbye, darlings. Goodbye. Goodbye. So there we have it, you guys. This is the beautiful Jean Marshall from 1998. If you guys are considering adding a Jean Marshall doll to your collection, um, I highly, highly recommend that you do i have heard of jean for so many years um, she really is a legend in the doll world and so many things that we love today as doll collectors and doll lovers really comes from her uh, the ashton drake series is very reasonably priced um, especially on ebay so i'll put some links down below where you guys can check her out if you love big gowns i mean you guys it doesn't get any better than this I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon after the subscribe button. That way you guys are notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, Jean and I are headed back to the opera for an encore performance of our favorite opera, Darling. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Jean here in New York. Mwah. 
and I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.